Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add um, different uh, themes to uh, your store. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and, and try out one of these other themes. Um, this particular website has an old debut on here. It's got some old products and stuff on it, but um, it, the, the, the code and everything's real old and it's hard to update it. So the unfortunate thing is we can't just um, launch you know, and activate, publish a new theme and keep all of our old settings, so we kind of have to rebuild it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, Dawn is like a default one, uh, but there are other free themes that are inside the Shopify store here. So I'm going to show you um, how to use uh, Refresh. Um, there are multiple ones. I'm going to cover videos and the other ones, but it's a free theme. So you can either use one of these free themes and get your store started really quickly, or you can go to the Shopify uh, theme store, or down here, it's themes.shopify. Uh, here, go here. It's themes.shopify.com. And you can look at a lot of the paid themes. So you can go through here and see, you know, oh, this one looks real cool. It's 320 bucks, right? So this, this is 220. This one's 250. This one's, you know, free. So there are some that you can check out. Origin, these are the ones that are the default ones for Shopify. But you can look at these and look at the actual demos for these stores and some of them are really good and they'll save you a lot of time and they look really nice already so you don't have to put a lot of effort into making it look good so um, this is a paid theme right so we're gonna go ahead and use one of the free themes of Shopify here so I'm gonna go ahead and use refresh and we're gonna select add so this latest one it says it's installing the theme and it's gonna actually put the theme um, in my store but not activate it so I can go ahead and configure and work on this particular version while my real store stays live. Well, I have to wait for that thing to kind of finish. It takes a few minutes. Refresh. Sometimes if you refresh it, it loads it faster. So it's version 8, and that's their uh, latest version from Shopify. So we can publish this now and start messing around with it, or we can go ahead and go to um, edit it and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and select preview, and we can take a look at how it's going to look. So we've got sports, you know, you've got all this stuff in here, and this is stuff that's already been added into this store. So it's taking this existing store's data, right? So the data is still in there. I don't think a lot of the products are, it's only one or two products that are active. It looks pretty cool, you know. You can come through here and kind of build this thing out. You can turn stuff off, turn it on, blog posts, subscribe. It's real, real big, but hey, it looks pretty good. So what I do is I keep two tabs open. I'll keep one open with the actual um, back end, and then I keep the other one open for the preview. Or if you have multiple monitors like I do, um, I'll drag one over to another monitor and then work on it that way. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> customize this one. And we'll go through here. Over here you've got um, these things that pop up are not part of this theme. They're part of an app, Clavio, and some other things. So they're kind of annoying, and I may have to turn those off. Um, but anyway, so you got this announcement bar, Welcome to Our Store. So if you click that, you can click Welcome to Our Store. And now you notice over here you can say whatever you want, right? Text alignment. And you've got these cool things, Accent 1, Accent 2. You can choose this background, which is white. You can invert it, gives you black or whatever. So, and you can also link the things. So say for instance, I wanted to say uh, free orders over $100. And, and then you could put like, a, if you have the emojis kind of installed on your computer here, you can pick your flag or whatever. And I'll put, a, I'll put a fire thing. So what's cool is that stuff will actually show up in Shopify and the code's already there, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna uh, take that out, it's pretty gimmicky. So, and then I want to do text alignment left, and it'll slam it over there, or I can do right, center, etc. Now, remember that these are the default themes, and there's pretty limited to what they can do, but they can get you there to get you started to sell product. So, free orders over $100, if I wanted to, like, link to a collection page or whatever from here, I could. So, say I wanted to link to, you know, check out my cool, you know, tactical gear. I can go to my collections. And then I can scroll down and find mine in here. It's tactical gear. Or I can type in here, tactical, and then it'll start, it'll find everything I have here. So now that's going to be linked, and it gives me a little button. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm done with that. I'll just select save, and I know it already looks good on the front page. 
Now, what's cool about this too is you can go ahead and click this little icon here, and you can actually look and see how it's going to look on mobile. So as you're building this thing out, you can go back and forth between these to make sure you're getting the kind of look and feel that you want. So right now, there's the name of the product up here. Um, you can add multiple announcements, and then it's going to give you these lines, which is kind of weird in this one. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, if I didn't want to just hide that with a little eyeball there, I can always just select it. And then over here on the bottom right-hand side, way down here, you click remove block and it'll get rid of the block that's up here on the left. Okay. A new thing that Shopify has been doing is adding custom CSS to these areas. So now you can do, um, you know, say for instance you didn't want that font size to be that large and there's no way for you to change the font size. So it's already given you the H2 right there. So you could say, you know, H2 and it gives you that code. So I'm going to say font, you know, size and I want it to be 12 pixels. So it's really cool because you can actually, here, let me just change that. That looks, that's going to look weird. I'm not going to do that. We'll leave that alone. But you can mess it around with it by section and change whatever you want to change in there. Um, next thing is I'll go to header. Now the header is this entire, this entire thing here. Okay, that is um, the color scheme I've got. It's in burst. I want it white or I want it accent two or I want to do inverse, you know, do black or whatever. So those are the, the colors that are part of the theme there. So you can change those colors underneath the theme settings and now you've got these app embeds, theme settings, and then you've got sections. So the sections will take you back to this look and feel here on the left. The theme settings is gonna let you change like the overall colors and everything. So let's just click on that for a second. Um, you'll put the logo, you get the colors, the typography, so it has all this stuff in here that you can format. So I'll go ahead and put logo, and then it says desktop logo with, you can go ahead and select something, and I need to find my uh, logo in here. Uh, it's probably way at the bottom. And I think it's kind of sucks about it, they don't put the actual little search in there for you to be able to find, or I'm missing it. So I'll just use this one, see how that looks. Is this one. All right, so it's going to be on that color. So I don't have a white one, but at least it's select that. And then in order for that to look good, I'm going to have to invert that to make it look good. Well, I want the logo to be a little bigger. Let's just go like 220. And notice how my menu's underneath it, and then it's at the top there. I can also change the, the how that's laid out, but I'll do that in a minute. So let's go to colors, do the next thing. Now you've got the solid uh, button label, right? The actual whatever's on the, on the button here itself. And you got the accent colors, these blues and stuff. So that's like your sale things and other stuff. So I can change the accent color. Say I want it red. I'll change that. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, sale. My sale changed to red. It takes a minute for the cash to kind of ca catch up as well. Um, and then you can go down and you can change the rest of the stuff. I'm going to leave all this stuff defaulted. You can tinker around with it if you want. Typography is the, the fonts and stuff that are actually on your um, uh, website. So you have your headlines, which is this large text, so Archivo, bold, whatever. I can change that to whatever I want. So if I wanted to use Able, then it's going to change all my text to Able. You know, I kind of like that Archivo thing on here. Let me put that in there. That's fine. So let's leave that. Once you do select one, you are going to want to select, set, uh, click the select button so you select it. Then you got the fonts here, which are all the actual fonts here as well. Okay, so let's go back to theme setting. I clicked that, that's why it moved over. So we'll go to the theme settings, and then we'll go to layout, and then you can play around with, um, you know, the page width. Most screens, you know, if you leave it at 1200, you'll be good to go. It gets smaller screens as well as, you know, people with large screens on there. You can set it to 1600 or more. It depends on what you want your, you know, page width. You can go all the way, you know, up, uh, but let's just stay at 1200. Like they have it, space between, uh, and you can actually set um, some more distance between the sections, but there's a lot of padding in here already. Uh, the buttons, you can do the opacity, you can change all that. The variant pills, that's on the product pages. Inputs is on the product pages. Product cards, that's like uh, these things right here. So that's a product card. So if I wanted to change the border, is like the thickness on that border is one right now. So see how I changed it and made it real big? That's huge. So let's just leave that. Actually, we'll do one. Do one. Leave it as one. 
opacity 100%, that means that it's gonna show completely, or if I were to change it to like 60, it's gonna fade this whole thing out. Give that a second, Let's see if it did it. Yeah, it takes a little bit. I'm gonna leave it, let's go back to 100, okay. Corner radius, you know, you could change the corner. It's 18 right now, so if you wanted it more, you can, whatever, you understand. Shadow, blur, collection cards. This is uh, the stuff that's on your collections itself. Blog, content containers. This is uh, the border thickness, so it's all for the stuff that's inside uh, the content areas. Media is your images, drop downs and pop ups. So you obviously you can see you can make all these cool changes. Badges. So the badges are these things that show up here, top left. Say I wanted it uh, top right. I can change it and it's going to move it over to the right. Um, I can also change you know the accent to be a different thing and it'll change the color back. But let's just go back to one. And you've got icons, color, text. You can change the icons, brand information, social media. This is where you're going to put in your Facebook accounts and your um, Instagram. And you're going to put the whole address in there. So you'll put in Facebook.com, not just your username, right? So in our case, we'll put, you know, how-to products. I'm not sure if that's the – I'm just going to show you this here. So Instagram, we'll just leave their Shopify in there. It's fine. I'll just show you that these are going to show up. Let's see if they're showing up in the bottom now. Yeah, they'll show up down here. So let me grab that one, YouTube, I'll grab TikTok. Let's see how it's populating them. TikTok, Twitter. And if I just put a pound in there and I don't have a link yet, it'll at least show the icon so I can get the um, design down and come back and add these later. Um, search behavior, uh, enable search suggestions. That's when you start typing in the search bar and it says here, you know, this is uh, 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 up here, like if I'll type in, um, uh, resist and I don't know see if it's gonna work there you go so it gives you these suggestions a little image it's pretty cool so show product vendor show product so you can show the price in there too so if you're sitting there and you start typing in this thing resistance and now it's gonna show me I'm sure the price is there I just can't see it because that's stupid things in a way but so we could leave that in there currency format cart so this is uh, the type of cart so there's the drawer there's the page and there's the pop-up right so right now if I add something to the cart, let me save this and I'm going to go over to the actual preview and there's our logo there's our hundred and if I click that it takes me to the tactical page let me just go back and notice I'm choosing my theme but it's using the data that's inside here so uh, let me just grab resistance band guy there we go all right, so um, if I add this to the cart, now watch what happens. So I'll add the cart, and then it, this is the drawer, it pops out. See, so it gives me all that. Now let me go back and change the cart again. I'm gonna change it to page. And that's gonna actually send me to the cart page, but then this one's a pop-up notification. Let me save that, and then you save it here in the top right. Let me go back over to my preview. I'm gonna refresh the page so that it works. Then I'll select add to cart. And it's going to do a pop-up. So there's the pop. You see how it dropped down? That one's really cool. The, uh, the last one is page. So if you don't want people to stay on the same page, if you have products that are like kind of expensive and you want people to go through the checkout process really fast, you're going to go ahead and select and change this to page. And let the, there's a little timer thing that shows you how it's loading. Select save. Go back over. Refresh again. Now watch what happens. I'll select add to cart. And it's going to send me to the cart page. So now it's going to send me right to the cart. I actually like this one pretty good. This is a nice, cool theme. Pretty fast, too. Okay, so that's it for the cart stuff, right? So I'm going to go back, and I actually like the pop-up thing. That was pretty cool. So let's save that one. Cart drawer. Uh, so cart, and then you have collection. Visible when cart drawer is uh, empty. So you can select any of these to show, like, a, a, a collection in that you know, pop-up thing, whatever. But I, I didn't select drawer, so I don't have to worry about that. Checkout, um, you don't really have a lot of options for the checkout page because on the uh, regular Shopify plans, you can't control the checkout process and what that means, uh, the stuff that shows on the checkout page. So if I were to add a background image and a logo, it, it right now, if I go to the checkout, I'll just go to checkout. And you can't really control this, right? But if I go ahead and add my image in here, 
Let me add a logo. Let me grab, let me grab that one. I'll select that one. And then let me change the background image and I'll just select uh, this lovely lady here. And hit select. And so now I've got those two going. So main content area, you can also do that. So you can, you can make it look a little more stylized for your um, order summary. I don't know. I'm just putting this stuff on here just to tinker around with it. Let's just see what it looks like. So I did all that. I'm going to save it again. You can make sure you got to save it up here on the right. Go over here, hit refresh on the checkout page, and then all your stuff should be updated. It looks really awful. But there's your banner. There's the logo. You should just do the logo and leave it alone. And then there's the image for the content area, uh, color for the content area, and color for this other area over here. So I'm going to get rid of those because it looks awful. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'll remove it. So you select change. And you do the same thing. You select change, remove image, right? And then we'll leave the logo. And then let me save it. I'll go back over to the other tab. I'll refresh this page and it should just show the logo. Oh, and the girl at the top. I need to take her out of there. Where is she? Where are you? There oh, you go. Okay, so this one here. And remove that one too. And then select save. Okay, so that's my checkout page. The so last thing is custom CSS. And then you also have a uh, theme style error. Uh, and you're already in it, so it doesn't, you're, you don't really need to do anything. So let's go back to sections. That's going to take me here. And then this other thing here, app embeds, when you uh, install apps, in order to activate them, you're going to have to come back here and tick these off. But we're not going to do that. Okay, theme settings. So everything's looking okay for my theme settings. Now I want to go back. Um, so if I want to uh, go back to my sections, I'll click that. And now I can start editing the home page again. If you notice, this changed to search because I was doing that little testing with the resistance bands. So now let me just go back to the home page. And then we're going to go down the rest of this page. So first let me change the header to white. Let's go ahead and make it um, background one. There we go. So now it's white. And I'll save it just to make my life a lot easier. Main menu. This actually pulls from the navigation and the website itself. And then let's see here. Drop down. Oh, mega menu. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it just makes it wider. Okay. And then I'm sure you can put images and stuff in there. I'm just going to leave it as a drop down. Uh, sticky. So you got the sticky where you scroll it and then menu stays up there. We're going to leave that. Logo position. Okay, so menu. So if I do left, and then I, let me zoom out a little bit. Let's see. No, it didn't do it. Okay. Oh, that's mobile. My bad. Uh, top center. Here we go. Sorry. So here's top left. And then we're going to do middle left. If we do middle left, it's going to put my menu to the, to the left there. But let me zoom out a little bit. You'll see how it's going to look. So it's going to look like that if I do logo left and I put the menu to the right there. So I'm just going to leave it at the top. It just looks nice that way. Top center. I'll leave that there. Okay. And then leave that. So next thing down here, it's, this theme has uh, stuff where you can actually select add section. So you can add some you know, other things in, right below the header if you wanted to. Put your own, you know ticker and stuff like that. Whatever you wanted to put there, you can use that by putting custom liquid, but then you need to know the code, how to code, okay? Uh, slideshow. So you get the slideshow. Right now I've got these three slides and nothing's moving because I don't have anything ticked off. So if I look over here to the right, I've got uh, grid. I can do uh, full width, which you'll probably want to do. Adapt to first image, so you probably want to do that. Uh, pagination style, you got the dots, the counter, or the numbers, and that's what shows down here. So I'll just put dots. This looks better. I'm going to auto rotate the slides. So watch, it's going to start going through the slides. But I leave it turned off so that you can actually work on each individual slide. So now you see it's going to move and you can rotate them every five seconds. Let me turn that off. Show content below images on mobile. So what's going to happen is uh, whatever content's in the slider, it's going to, uh, this like slideshow shop now, watch what it does. So I'll just put the mobile view and it puts that information and then this is the actual slide image. So let me go ahead and go back to that desktop. Okay, you know about your brand. So the okay, there we go. So let's go to the first slide. So we actually click on the first slide. Well, I don't want three slides. I only want the one one slide. So I could turn off the other ones by just clicking the eyeball and hiding the other ones. And then I don't turn on auto rotate, and then it will leave that one image. 
but I do want to have other images in here and I do want to have the slide doing some cool stuff. So let's click on the slideshow for the first one. So we need an image for it. So we're going to go ahead and click on select image and then let's just grab this dude. Is he poo -poo? You don't want to use animated images. Watch, it's taking a long time to load. So let me just pick something else. It's pretty cool, but let me grab here. Uh, grab something else. Here, let's grab the girl doing the yoga. Okay. All right, so the girl's doing yoga. We got to select select down the bottom right there in order to be able to actually select it. And now this new version of Shopify has something called focal points. So you can actually say, I want the focal point of the image to be right here. So add focal point, and then I want the focal point to be on her foot. So I select that, and select save. And you always want to add all text for your SEO, say what it is, you know, cool yoga pants or whatever, and then your business name. Okay, so now, and I'll just do that. So say I am building this out, and I want my website is going to be selling yoga pants. So I want it to be, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, best fitting yoga pants black. And then you put in your business name in here. It's real. This helps you a lot with um, search engines. Put shop, and then we'll put in you know how to products dot com, and then a period. And we put the period at the end so we can help out people who have accessibility issues and screen readers, so that this actually will stop at this instead of. Otherwise, it'll keep running on, uh, read the entire website and not stop for them. It's hard for them to actually navigate. So this does one little extra thing for you, and also helps your users for user function uh, functionality uh, in working. Right. So I'll select save. So now I've got the girl back there. Now the heading size is real big. So let's go ahead and go to small and see what that does. Okay, so that's just for the text. And then we're gonna call this, you know, uh, shop, you know, uh, this season. Uh, how about um, yoga pants? Yoga pants, whatever. And then we'll put in uh, this season's collection of yoga pants. Okay, whatever. And then I would put instead of shop now, I put shop yoga pants. There we go. And then the link, you're gonna to want to link to your yoga pants. So I don't know where it is. So let's put collections and then I'll just look for I don't think I have yoga pants in here actually at all, but let me just type in yoga. I got two products, so let's see. Uh, resistance bands, let's just do that. All right, it's fine. It's going to link to the resistance bands. Um, use outline button style. You can click on that. It gives you an outline. makes it look a little different. I like the darker stuff. Uh, show container on desktop. Desktop content, left alignment. Okay, so you can actually align where you want the content to be inside the box itself. And then you can actually use the different backgrounds. You can do inverse. You can do the accent, which is the same. You can do accent one. It's red, we're not gonna do that. So let's just do background, let's leave it as it is. Uh, background two. Yeah, okay, we like that one. And then we'll look. You notice this box is pretty big, and so in order to control that, different themes have different things where you can actually um, change um, the padding and change. This one, like I said, it's a free theme, so you're gonna have to use some CSS in order to make that you know non-visible or whatever. So it does it has a lot of good options in this theme, but it doesn't have an additional one where you could control, like I would probably make that a bordered uh, uh, box with a transparent background so you could see her in the background, right? So anyway, so let's go ahead and select save. That's our first one. And then you do the same thing for the next slide. You go down and you do the same things. You're going to select an image. We'll do the girl with the facial thing. And then you can control you know, how that's going to look. So here we go. Change, shop now, button, mid middle right. So here's where you can actually control where the text is going to show so you could so if your image is you know has something down on the let's do top left actually there we go so it's not on our face but you can move it around which is kind of cool okay so this last one I'm not going to use I'm just going to click that like that next thing down you have the featured collection so say for instance you're looking at this and you're like man I don't want I like the banner at the top but I don't want the featured collection there I want this section right here, which is called the multi-column selection. I want it above the feature collection. So all you do is you just grab this little icon here, you select it, and just drag it below, and then let go. And it'll 
actually move it for you. So now I've got my, my stuff that's going to show in the boxes here, and then I don't really want all that. Well, let's see, let me get rid of one of them. Uh, I think I have to delete one, so let's see, remove block. So I'll remove block, and let's take a look at the sections we got here. Multi-column. So we got multi-column, medium, half width of column, adapt to image, number of columns on desktop. So see how there's four? So I want three, and then it'll, yeah, see how it makes it go there. It's a lot nicer, okay? So, and you can change, you know, mess around with the images and the stuff that's inside the boxes and everything. And, uh, center alignment, and you can add an image in there. So let's see. Okay, so let me select one. Share a review. And so in here, let's see, we got with this column info, share, review, or testimony. So now I can select an image, and then there's a you know person's face or whatever I'm using for the testimonial. I could put in there. Let me just grab these people working out. And you just see what I'm doing. There we go. So now you've got that, and then you can put in your cool testimonial for the heading. So this would say, you know, wow. And then here you can have this website rocks and then you can have a link label and this could be uh, shop now and then you can have your link whatever you want to link to let's just link to a generic product all products so now that's linked and you can go through and, and do the rest of those that way as well so we'll save that and then the next thing down here we've got our feature collection we've got it's kind of all over the place but um, if you notice down here at the bottom on the left, you can add a new section. And what that does, the sections are actually broken up in, in the basically squares. Like that's a section, that whole thing. That whole thing's a section, right? So that's what they say when they say that's a section. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a section. And then you have the ability to add these other cool things right here, right? So you can, you know, you can add contact form, video, you know, custom, you know, the page, multi-rows image banner, slideshow, collages, and featured product and everything else. So what they've done with the theme though is they're trying to show you by having all these uh, options on here, a, a base to start with, right? And then you can mess around with it to do what you want it to do. So let's see what this one is. So this one's a feature collection at the bottom. So I really don't want a feature collection down there. It's kind of weird. So let's get rid of that. So I'm just gonna click on it. And in order to keep my sanity over here, instead of just hiding things, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And it doesn't delete it from the store completely, you know, so it just takes it off of your um, left sidebar here so you can work, right? So now let's go back up here. I've got yoga pants, and then I've got this three things section. I don't really wanna, I don't usually put testimonials at the top, I usually put them at the bottom. So here's our feature collection here. So let's take a look at this one. So if I click on it, it's going to let me go straight to the options where I can describe the collection. So I'm going to say uh, shop fitness products. And then heading size small, you can go medium, make it bigger. I'll make it small, it's fine. Uh, resistance, bands, booty bands, yoga bands, I don't know. Spell this. More. There we go. Show collection description. Okay, whatever. Uh, body style collections all. So that's where. Okay, so I can have it linked to wherever I want. Uh, maximum products to show four. And I'll put two. I'll put four. Four. Number of columns on desktop. Four. Make products full width. Let's do that. Let's see what that, there we go. Enable view all. We don't need that. Solid button, enable carousel on desktop. So that's if you have like, you know, maximum products to show 17, it'll make a carousel for all the products, which is pretty cool. For background, you can change that. So the, here's the, okay, so look at that. That's portrait, now there's square. Adapt to image, you don't want to do that. Usually you want to stay portrait or square so it stays consistent. I'm going to go square, second image. Right now there's no second image. Let's do that. There, second image on hover. Show your vendor. We'll show the vendor. Product rating, I got no, I don't have any reviews. Quick add button. Uh, mobile layout, you can mess with that. Now I'm done with that. I usually just save them in between just so in case I get interrupted by a phone call or something else that I can come back to this really easily. Okay, so the next thing, 
you notice I'm just rolling my mouse over these sections on the left, and then it, it goes right to it, which is pretty cool. Next thing is image with text. So you've got, you know, you can have uh, image with text over here, and this could be, you know, um, uh, what is it? Um, 10 or 11 piece resistance and set. And then that's pretty big, so let's go medium. It's even small. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. All right, so we'll save that. And we'll go back over here. Um, includes, you know, what is it? Workout from home. Includes 11 piece up to 150 pounds resistance. Uh, all right. Okay, so then we'll go here, click on the image. Let's go select image and let's grab the resistance dude. Ah, uh, I wish they had a search. Yeah, let's do it. I right, select. So you got adapt to image, medium, second image, background, blah. You can still mess around with all that if you want. And then the shop now, the button, you can go to resistance bands. Let's just do resistance, do a product. We'll select resistance band, let it be set, save. And then I don't want I don't need another one down here, so I'm gonna go down to the second one and I'm gonna remove it. I don't need another one here. I'm gonna remove that one. And I don't need another one here. I'm gonna remove that one. They really just went off. So introduce your brand, and then you can you know you can say other stuff on here. So let's just say, okay, that looks cool. All right, then here's my blog posts. So I've got some blog stuff going here. Let's take a look. Blog posts. Uh, you know, uh, you can put, put the title, whatever you want there. Number of blog posts to show. Let's go four. Let's see how that's going to look. That's going to look weird. Let's do three. That's fine. Background. Show featured image. Show date. Author. View all. Yeah, let's just leave the settings. Subscribe to our emails. So this um, subscribe newsletter thing here, um, all it does, it doesn't sign them up for a list or anything. All it does is it puts next to the customer, um, inside your customers, inside Shopify, a notice or a tag that says allows marketing. So in order to email them, you can't just select some, you know, a thing in the back and select to them. But if you have an app installed like Klaviyo or Mailchimp or something that's connected to Shopify, you can have it where these customers are imported into those systems. And then when you do your e-blast or your marketing campaign for that month, you can select those customers. So you can choose to use this, or you can choose to use the embed that's actually done by the, the apps. Okay, blog post, email, sign up. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So let me just add. I don't think I have video. Collection list is pretty cool. You can actually put all the collections in here. So um, you can select. Let me just select each one, and I'll select the collection. So let me just go and select anniversary gifts, and hit select. And now I'll do this one, and then I'll select collection, and I'll select. Beauty, and I'll hit select, and I'll select your collection name, select another one, and then let me grab another one, let me grab Halloween, and select. And so what this does is this will give me my uh, collections as a list. So um, I can move this up to the top, which is probably where I want to put it below the slideshow. And you don't have to have the word collections there. You can say shop or whatever. Shop all. Our categories, whatever. Or popular here. Most popular categories. Did I spell it right? Okay. So now I get the most popular categories. Um, now I've only got three here and I want to show more so I just select add collection, add collection, add collection. It gives me three more. Okay, so I've got three more now. Um, and that multi-column looks kind of weird so I'm going to take that out of there. Actually that's for the reviews. So the reviews I'll usually put down at the bottom. Uh, let's finish the collection list first. So here's the next collection. So let's do another one. I don't think any, a lot of other ones have any images on them. If you notice, I'm picking the ones with the little I the image icons because uh, they have they'll show up here. Otherwise, if I just select hiking, it's just going to be the word. So let me select home decor. And let me select that one. I'm going to select this here. 
select collection. And then I'll just put beauty again just to save my just because it has images and I'll like scrolling down all the way. So here we go. And then let's select Halloween again. That's fine. You notice how when I clicked off it, it got rid of the image because I didn't select it to save it. So watch, I'll go beauty. And you have to select it down here at the bottom every time. Otherwise, it's not going to stick. So if we click on selection, and now let me go down. I'll go to Halloween again. And I have to select the select button. And now it's on there. I'll select save. So it gives me a little... Uh, so this is like for your reviews. I don't really need the image on here. So I'm going to take that off. Remove image. So wow. And then you can put testimonials at the top or whatever. So I'm going to take this section with the... Uh, the wow and everything, which is this multi-column here. I'm going to move it down to the bottom. So let's see. So see how it shows you? If you keep it left-clicked and you can kind of drag it above thing, it'll show you the placement on the right. So let's see. Multi-column. Yeah, let's just leave it there. Actually, I could probably make this the testimonial so I can get rid of that second one altogether. And we'll see. There we go. I'll just leave that. Okay. And then blog posts at the end there and subscribe. So I kind of got the page done, you know, in its basic form. Um, I'll go ahead and select save. And I'm not going to publish it yet. I want to see how it's going to look. So I can stay on this page and I can go to my other tab that I have. And I'll go back to my website, out to products. And I'll, yeah, there we go. So now I've got that first image, and it looks better when the, when the screen is there, so it's actually off of the girl. And so I don't think I elected to have the slides auto-rotate, so let's go back and go back to slideshow, and then we're going to select auto-rotate slides and select save, and I'll go back over here and hit refresh, and now my slides should automatically slide every five, so there we go, five seconds, okay? And then... I'll go down the page here, most popular categories, anniversary, and if I click these, it's going to take me right to the categories, all right? Go down, there's my shop fitness products. If I had more products showing here, it would actually, let me select a couple other ones. I think I got some other active ones. There's my huge product. This doesn't look that great, but you know, you get the idea. Blog posts, blog posts, blog posts, subscribe to our emails. Here's my, my menu and stuff's down here. Now, how, how did I get this stuff down here? I'll show you. So inside Shopify, in order to get back to the actual main screen, I'll usually keep a couple, like three tabs open. So if you look at this over here on the left-hand side, you got your navigation, right? So I'm not going to cover the other stuff. This is only for the themes. This is assuming that you've already set up your menus and everything. So you have main menu, footer menu, right? But right now, if I go to uh, back to the online store and then I haven't made I haven't made this uh, active yet right so if I go back in here I'm sorry I'm gonna go to customize and then over here on the far left hand side you have footer click on the footer and then you've got shop shop about mission so shop and then I chose the actual menu here so I could change that to the header menu I don't want to, but let me just put that there. I'm going back to footer menu. So I'm going to leave it as footer menu because it has my refund policy and everything else on there. Right? And then when you're done, you select select down here. That button will be green. And then you have about, and then you put in some information. So, so that one actually has it selected as a menu. So you can, you know, put the main menu there, another one, tactical gear, right? Or you can put add block. And then you put some text in there. So if you put some text in there, then you could put in, you know, our company, blah, 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 whatever. You know, and notice how I didn't save, see, I didn't save that menu block. So I'll do it again, watch main menu. I have to select select in order for it to stay. And then I can click on other stuff. So I don't need this heading here. I'm going to get rid of this one. So I can go ahead and hide it. But just to keep it clean, I'll select the heading, and I'll go over here and select Remove Block. I don't have to worry about it later. And if you notice over here on uh, the right side now, I've got um, 
show you, I, I got follow up, I got show social media icons that these guys here. So if I turn that off, it'll get rid of all the icons. Um, enable country selector. <laughs> If I don't want to show that, I don't have to show that. Language selector and payment icons. If I don't want to show the payment icons. Um, then you also have show policy links. It'll show your privacy policy terms of service. That's pretty cool right away. So let's do that. So we're done with that. Let's select save. So now our footer looks pretty good. Let's click on mission. Uh, so the mission is over here on the left, our mission. Or we can start typing on it. You know, how to products rules the world. Okay, and save. If I hit that publish button, it is going to publish to the as your main theme. But don't worry because say you mess it up, you can change it back. So, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Here. So let's go ahead and refresh. There we go. And then our our footer, how to products rules the world. And you can put it your logo in here again too. Now, I want to put the logo in here, so I'll put the logo at the end. So let's put image, and I'll select. The logo. Let's just grab whatever we got here. So we got that guy. Select it, and it says 100 pixels. Let's just make it bigger. And notice that it's you know it's you're gonna want to have a white image a white image for down here. But notice how I have uh, the logo on the far right, and I want I really want it over here. So I could just take it again, grab this little icon right there, so it turns into a little hand, and just drag it, and then it'll put it right over there for you. So now I've got it looking how I want it to look, and I'll select save. So now, say for instance, I accidentally published this. It says save and publish. It says your customers will see this when you think. So watch this. So I'll select publish. And then look what it's doing. It's actually putting refresh here, and it takes my old one and sticks it here. So now if I go to the website, how to products, it's live on my main website and I'm like, oh crap, I, mess, I messed up, I don't want it live yet. So I'm gonna go back and then all you do is you come back over to your live one and you select publish, that's all you do, publish. And now it's gonna swap it. So now you save the world there. So say for instance you worked on this and everything, you know, you, you like it and everything and then you, you like it as it is but you wanna keep working on it and do some changes. So you can just duplicate the theme, click duplicate and now it's going to do a copy for me. And so it's going to keep everything that I just made into a copy of it, as basically as a backup. So I can now work on this, continue to work on this one, and make it look how I want it to look. Okay, so let me go back to the home, and I'll show you that the other website is still is now live. So that's the old one, right? Testimonials, men's fitness, all a bunch of, all that stuff, right? There you go. All right, so that one's showing. So now I'll keep working on this, and I am going to eventually make this one live. But I just wanted to show you how to use um, this refresh theme. So this is the same. You know, all these free themes in here have all a little bit different options, but they all kind of work the same. Um, oh, lastly, I got a couple more things here too. You have this drop down at the top, so that you can go to each of the pages and kind of tweak them out a little bit. So say, for instance, I wanted to update the products. Page the way it looks. So I'll click on the products and I'll click on default product. It's going to load the product for me. Okay. So now if you look at this, it's got these little elements that I that are on the product page, right? So that's the description. It's really long. Really, really long. Look at that. Oh, excuse me. So this product page, say for instance, I didn't want to show the product name or I don't want to show the vendor. Let's not show the vendor up here. So if you look at this, I can roll over this and select the little trash icon or over here on the left, you've got the trash icon and you can just hide it. So it's probably better to just hide it just so you don't mess anything up. Clicking on product information, the actual main link here, and then you've got uh, an, uh, Strain media, you got fit original, you got fill, so you can make this bigger, original, thumbnail carousel, that's this here, so you can make it thumbnails, see how it shows all of them now, two column, stacked, so we'll probably do thumbnail carousel, that's pretty cool, uh, image light box, hide that mobile, okay, hide others, 
There's some other tweaks you can do in here. Uh, now, if you look at this stuff, you get title, product rating, and you've got the price, a variant picker, which is if there's a small quantity, buy buttons, and then the description, and then the shares. And then you got collapsible content. This is the stuff down at the bottom here. So you can actually add some kind of questions and stuff here, some other collapsible items, highlights, scent, details, ingredients. Well, I don't have ingredients, or I want to change it. You can change these to questions, or whatever you want to call them, right? So you can add multiple ones. So I'm going to hide all these, hide that one, hide that one, hide that one. And I'll hide that one. And, but if you look at it and you click on these, you actually have the ability um, to grab copy from another website uh, page and put it in here. So about how to products, so select that there. And that's going to be there under the details. So now look at that. So there's my about information is showing up under my details. And that's going to be on every product page. So if you were to make a page that you wanted just for these items over here, you can do that in the back end of Shopify, you just make them as a page, and then you'll select them from this little dynamic connector here. Or, you can get rid of this, you can remove it, and then put your own content in here. Right? There's my own content. My dog's barking. Next, is you've got uh, related products. So, I don't really have anything assigned or related to it right now. You may also like, and then I don't have any other active products, that's why nothing's showing there. And then you've got this other stuff down here. You probably don't need the rest of this garbage that's on here. So you, you're going to want to hide all that stuff. So I'm going to hide the, that one, and I'll hide the multi-column, and we'll hide the rich text, and this other... One, two, three. So one, two, three. So if you notice on this one, it shows the reviews at the bottom, and it's only doing that because I have this app in here. It's called AI Reviews. It's AliExpress Reviews. So it pulls in reviews from AliExpress, but that yours won't show this. Okay. So that's it for the product page. Once you're finished, select Save. Save yourself a little hassle, and you can do the same thing for the collection page and other pages, so select collections, default collection, and then you've got some other options here. Same thing. So let's take a look at this. So you get the collection. Let's see, we've got slideshow. Okay, so that's the header. And then let's go down product grid. That's going to show the products. And then we got image with text. So they really just added these to all of the sections just so you can tweak them out yourself. You got to hide these before you go live. So it's kind of weird that they're on there, but whatever. I like it clean like that. Select save. And then you have uh, pages and other things. So you can make new templates as well. So for instance, say I wanted to create a new template. And I want to call it, so I've got a contact page and I have an about page, but maybe I have a showroom, you know, and I want to base it off of the regular page. If you select contact, there's a form on there. So I'll select create template. So now I've got the page and there really isn't that many options for you to make changes on here, but you can add blocks. Let's see here. Email sign up. So add section, let's take a look. So you can put other stuff in here, collection, featured collection. Um, you can, you know, kind of stylize the page out however you want it to look. You can get rid of uh, all this info that's in here. So because I copied uh, the default page, uh, it's just giving me content that's in here. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's uh, save. And now let's go to pages. And now I've got assigned to zero pages. So you actually have to assign this, the way this looks, onto a page. So say, for instance, I, I like the way this looks. i got a featured collection that shows at the bottom of the page. But on my regular pages, let's go over here, refresh. So let me just go to the About page. So I've got the About page, but notice there's no um, featured collection down there. So in order to add that featured collection, I'd have to assign that template to that product, that page. So I'll show you. 
go to exit after you save right you go over to pages you find the about page here's the about and then over here on the right side you got these theme templates and now look at this I've got default page contact judge me where is the new page that's created for the template well you are underneath this debut theme the new page was created under refresh so this page has to be published so we'll publish that current theme so now I'm active and live now I go over to pages and now I go to about and I should see my theme template showroom so if you don't see it in there it means that you're not on the right theme right so you're not gonna be able to assign it so I'll go ahead and save it and then let me go back and hit refresh and there's my feature collection on the about page so instead of having to dig around and trying to figure out how to do that I'm gonna to try to go back I'm gonna set my debut theme back to, to publish And then we'll go back and customize this guy. So you've got products, you got a product page, you can do a different template for that if you wanted to for different products, but you're gonna have to do the same thing. So we'll do it for instance again. So I got products, and then I have one. If I created my own template and I had other stuff showing, I'd have to go find the products that I want to have assigned. So for instance, I go to exit, say I created a template, I'd go to products, and then say um, my resistance. Let's try and find it. I think it is. There we go. So this guy. So if I had a template created, I got to scroll down, and then you find the theme template, and I don't have one. So, because the theme, right? Because it's not selected. If it was selected and I had created a theme for it, a theme page or a template for the product page, and I have the correct theme selected, it would show here. Okay? <coughs> and then when you're done selecting it, you always want to select save. Okay, well, I hope that helps you out with this uh, installing and, and making the refresh theme active in your store. Um, follow this. Uh, channel for updated sorry I'm a little tired for updated uh, options on how to edit and uh, create and manage and develop and design and everything for Shopify WooCommerce big commerce uh, digital marketing etc so subscribe and uh, smash the like button and I can actually get a few more subscribers thank you very much and have a wonderful day or evening